We are heading to a location that's hidden within a deep spring water at it. Dark, claustrophobic and around 200 feet underground, a machine was to be tested that could mark a changing point in British engineering. This test would eventually link England and France via railway. In 1875, an Act of Parliament authorised the Channel Tunnel Company Limited to start trialling. This was under the direction of Sir Edward Watkin, a British politician and chairman of the South Eastern Railway. His vision was to connect his railway empire to France. Welsh miners bored a seven-foot diameter pilot tunnel 800 feet long. This tunnel would have been bored using a compressed air boring machine. Invented and built by Colonel Frederick Beaumont, he had been involved with the Channel Tunnel Company since 1874 and bored a number of tunnels without the use of explosives. His machine was three and a half times faster than manual labour. Beaumont's boring machine had not been used in the first trial attempt. Captain Thomas English had designed a more superior boring machine, capable of cutting nearly half a mile a month. The engineering magazine credited Beaumont's boring machine. This sparked letters of protest, stating that the machine that Captain Thomas English had designed was the one used. The engineering magazine refused to correct this mistake, and to this day, the early Channel Tunnel trial is mainly credited to the Beaumont machine. What you're about to see is the pilot tunnel that the boring machine created as it stands today. How are we doing folks? We've got the waders on again. We're in the 1880 Channel Tunnel, um, which is quite a dangerous explore. This is probably the last ever time we're actually been going into this. You said that last time? Yeah, it's uh, 2014. And uh, we got the HD equipment this time, high power torches, and we're going to document it to the high standards of IKS. Um, so yeah, this was a test bore built in 1880 to test the boring machine. Put some links below so you can see some information there. Um, so yeah, there's some graffiti down here from 8080 as well. 8080. So let's check it out. So oh, half my leg feels quite cold. Yeah. Oh god. As you can see there, folks, it's quite dangerous. This is uh, this happened between 2018. Uh, what is that? Not 2018. <laughs> this happened between 2008 and 2014. This wasn't here in my 2000. And uh, eight video, so that's quite a scary thought. This is what we look like. I don't know if that comes out because it's so these sleepers are black, brown, really dark brown, and the light is soaked up into it, and that's why you can only see me pretty much. Um, yeah, but there's 200 feet of cliff above us. Let's get to a point where it opens up. Oh, that's a bit better. So apparently these sections supporting where the railway tracks are near the railway lines, the Dover to, Dover to Folkestone railway. So sometimes you can actually hear the train coming, which is quite interesting. But yeah, this was possibly put in by the railway companies. It was. It was, yeah. Chris has been reading up about it, so that's good. Some more facts, so if I'm wrong, Chris can correct me. You want it? Yeah. It's um, showing the... You see, this was never dug as part of it. Right. This was one of the water edits. Yeah. When they came down the shaft, they hit this. But this wasn't actually dug as part of the channel tunnel. Just a they just They just used it because it was hit. Right. Of course, it's damp here. Quite wide here, actually. These sleepers will give way one day. Hopefully, not one of them in here. No. Again, when you go and explore, and I know there's two of us exploring here, but we've let people know that we're here on the outside. So if something really goes wrong, they might come looking. Here. Yeah. Have you got any food? No. Drain pipe. The drain wall trail. 
Oh, yeah. Do you reckon that might be from the attic? Sure. Yeah, it's constantly flowing down there. Look at that one. Oh, yeah, snap. Chris is not in his uh, camo gear today because um, the hole was a bit tight on the way. Yeah, it's a bit muddy. So don't want to. Uh, right. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, look. Come back here and look at this. Look at that. Oh, sorry. Wow, that's flat, isn't it? This. Good to know that it's not actually touched. So maybe a lot of the sleepers are just more in case of collapse yeah. than supporting anything. Yeah. But this again, this beam here wasn't here in 2014. This has collapsed recently. You can see it's gone in the middle. It's just snapped here, folks. So it's all that come down. Well, I don't remember any of that looking like that. I can't remember. The quality of the video last time was not very good. But this is all right on the floor. The floor's all right in here. Hello? Look at this. Up here is the original test ball where they brought down right. to dig it through. They came down this end, maybe down the end there. They, what do you mean? They dug down from the top, a shaft straight down. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Before they went along. So is that shaft at the end then? Yeah, somewhere down this end. Oh, what, above all these sleepers? Yeah. That's amazing, didn't know that. Well, before we That's what I read. Oh, look at all this. It's all like clay. What is it again, Chris? What's the material? It said Gothic clay, but this looks more like chalk. It's a bit of a both, I think. It's a bit grey as well. However, I don't see any sign of this char. No. Maybe that, that's not. Maybe it's a bit, might be conflicted with something else. Uh. Proper constant, and it's always coming down that. Yeah, I decided to walk under it rather than around it for some stupid reason. That is amazing. Don't look back, mate, with the light. Here comes a train. That's rumbly. You can feel the vibrations there. Yeah. That's amazing. That's a, the original test bore right there. That's the 1880 uh, machine went through there. They and built the, the machine edit. this end apparently. Right. And they it in place. assembled it. it was assembled, assembled it here. Assembled it oh, in here. The gist of what I got is they lowered it down here and they assembled it, but I can't see a way down. Right. To be honest, it would make more sense using the adit. The adit that's already there. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? Right, if you want to start making your way down, mate. Yeah, can we take the bags with us? Yeah, when we get near the end, we can put them down somewhere over there. Is that you? Do you want to go first? I'll let you go first because um, I want to sort of get a shot of this as you're walking down. Amazing. That constant water coming through, you can hear that. All right, let's go. That looks fresh. Oh, yeah. Well, that graffiti's down there as well. Waders. Well, last time it was wellies, so it's an improvement. <laughs> so these sleepers have been in the place here for many, many years. From what I get, the, I get the idea that there was like a railway line. Right. They, they got the moved down. Oh, right. So you're close to the ceiling, there, mate. Yeah. 
can't actually bend over in the rain. Another train. That's eerie, isn't it? That's that's very vibrating. That's vibrating the ground. Was louder than the last one, so it's probably the other line. Certainly, that's a high speed one. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be honest, I can't really remember because it was so long ago, but it does seem to be a lot more collapses than the walls. Yeah, it's not going to last much longer. That graffiti, I couldn't see it. Look, it weren't that far from the actual um, added. Oh, we'll find it on the way back. And you've got these weird sort of cutouts in uh, different sections as well. And there. This is clay, isn't it? Not chalk, because if you touch it, it's like. It's proper, um, yeah. yeah. Or as you called it. What? That thing. What, gold tip, gold tip clay, something? Yeah, like yeah. It's got to be in it. The units have been down here with spray paint. This shaft was bought in 1880. And you've got people coming down there spray painting there. I suppose I think it's seven foot in diameter apparently. And then they're going to make it bore it out bigger. Right. But obviously this is just a test, so I suppose Test that machine out. Yeah. You remember the person, person, the name of the machine? Right. You see, this is where it sort of you can see parts of the ball, but then the, it's sort of crumbling. dissolved in crumbling walls. You see the reason I'm filming you, Chris, because you can see you can see you walking through the water, and it's. See, this time I get to stir the water up, and then you can't see what's going. I don't know what it's like when I was it last time. <laughs> oh, you put the bag. Put the bag there if you want. No, or no, go further up actually. I'm going. It looks really shallow, and then you step in it, and you realise it's some bits, some bits are soggy, and some bits are off. Oh God! Oh, oh! You right? <laughs> yeah, man. That shirt's gonna have to go in there. <laughs> you see the woods looking out there? Whoa! You know, uh, coast come down here, didn't they? If you remember? Did they? Yeah, that, um, that guy with the long hair, the Scottish guy. They come down with gas uh, apparatus, uh, oxygen tanks. Oh, okay. So, yeah, people on YouTube, uh, <laughs> we might run out of air, you never know. Oh yes, I remember this. Look at this fresh water here. Lovely. Watch the light for a minute. How clear the water is though. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Not so sure about the railway sleepers though. Yeah. Do you want me to go first in this point? Oh, don't mind.
this is where I like to have a hand free folks got the wavies well this is old here so thinking on it they cut the they put that there when they were born so maybe it fell then and then they propped it up and carried on yeah Be interested to know what the results of the test board actually were. Yeah. So was it a success? Well, they got the channel tunnel now. Another train. Well, I can say this for one thing, folks. They're bloody on time for once. Bloody service, that is. Oh, you're great. No, I can't see. I made it much further than this. No, no, this is where I went. Close your eyes. <laughs> here he rock. comes. There's a rock there. Look at all this colour here, look, look at that. Oh, it's... Proper crystallite? Yeah. Sort of stuff. Look at the water pouring in. This is where it gets a bit deep. I remember this when uh, I was here last time. Whoa. Let me go a little way, then I'll turn the camera around. There he is there. Uh, Not blinding, you know? No. Just watching my stand, because some bits don't, like you said, pretty deep. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, that's the trouble you've got your... I don't know what to do, do you go on the shallow bit? <laughs> Just go where I was going, mate, it's not too bad. Well, I can't see where you're going now, because you stirred it up. Alright, easy. It's over knees now. Oh, I think that's the end there. That's the collapse, isn't it? Yeah. So look at that sleeper there. I assume that went along and there was another one. Yeah, I think it goes down. We'll have a look when we get there. Look at the ripples in this no, water. The sleeper. Wait a minute. Goes down. You see it goes along like that? Yeah. It I reckon it would have been on the other end to have popped it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, it would have been, wouldn't it? Surely. But look at the ripples in this water. That's lovely, isn't it? It's like crystal. We could jump into that fresh. Fresh. Taste it. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I've, I've, if I knew it was fresh running, I don't know if it's this this stock of water here. It's not fresh running out. hundred years ago. I reckon it possibly some of it does get out into the the sea. But this is getting deep here, folks. Yeah, I'm just thinking that. So not many people venture this far. To oh. Oh. Well, I'm going to turn the camera around on you. Have I suddenly become short? Or is it just getting very deep? It's getting deep, mate. The question I was asked earlier is how far can you get the wellies? The answer is not very far, folks. Not very far. Not as deep as Tumbridge Wells. It's not waist deep though, no, is it? No, but it's not flat. It's groin deep. But well, Tumbridge Wells was least. Ooh. Don't want to miss any action. Look here, I'm just looking here though, and it's got some sort of. Um, it's got another cutout bit right there. Mm. A little brown stuff in it. Right, let's keep Technical term, brown stuff. Yeah. Oh. Is that a new collapse? Or was that the last time? I think that was there. Um, I, was, I was obviously stuck. I think that was there. Look. Holy shit, mate. Whoa. Top of leg depth now. I think this is fresh, you know, this collapse. I think I might be wrong.
Oh, quite a long way though. So that is the end there, you can see it goes to the roof. But it's not the end, it carries on. Well it did, I believe. But it does carry on, but it's full of water. Yeah. But I can't remember it being all like this, all this I chalk. Can't, I can't remember it. Because you was way far away, mate. Yeah, I thought you came up to a certain point, and then you like looked over and went, it's flooded. Watch that bag, mate. Yes, it's going to be difficult to get down here. But I don't really... Yeah, watch these. Look at these slabs above you. I don't really want to put the bag down anywhere. No, just put it, chuck it down there, it's alright. Mm. <coughs> just for a minute. It rolls off. I have to look at the old video, actually, and just see whether it was uh, collapsed here. Is there? Looks near the ceiling. They talk about weight, uh, waste fighters. You look right down the end there with your torch. Yeah. So that's pretty much. I think. Let's have a look. Can't. Oh, I'll keep doing that. Maybe I. One at a time, mate. Maybe. Oh, you're really. It's a footprint down here. Well, it hasn't even ventured this far. Can't see any. <coughs> Don't make try much, make too much vibration. Wow, look how clear that water is. Yeah. This is where I'm sweating, folks. I'm not cold anymore. You're not cold? No. Safe in it. Did you come this far last time? No. Oh. Need a boat. I think this is too dangerous, mate, because um, safety net are getting dropped. It's just rocks on the floor, basically. I'm a cracking tide. You was alright at Tumbra Dwell. Yeah, I know, but there weren't so much on the floor. It was not tin to hold. No, it seriously is, though, it's nothing to hold. No, no. But you can see right at the end there, folks, the lip is coming out. The ball continues, but it goes down slightly. It picks it up, doesn't it? Down the end there. You see it goes down, that's got to pick it up. Right, yeah. Let's get out of here. I can't, I just don't want to trip over with this camera view. End of the day. That is the end. You can see there's a sleeper at the end. And there's another sleeper there. This is the end. It goes further than the sleeper, doesn't it? You can see. It goes down, you can see there. You can see where it starts dripping down. I guess that's where it goes around. Yeah, let's get out of here, mate. Okay, that's easier said than done. <laughs> Looking at the collapse, it's a bit scary. I'm wondering if that's where you came to before. It was, I think. I think I, it was like two years ago, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Three years ago? 2004. Yeah. yeah. Correction there. You see, I get too excited, I forget about things. Yeah. Right, what's it? 
that's it. Got the gear there. Got an Instagram photo while you're here. Instagram? Yeah, it could do. Alright, ready, mate? Define ready. Do you want to stand on the sloping piece of snow? You got the bag? Is it, is it over there? It is. Alright. Now right. we have the problem. I'll close it going. Yeah. yeah. Look. It's just, yeah. Just got to do your best, mate. <laughs> I'll let you go first. Yeah, I thought you would. Oh, that's not good. Get your foot stuck. Yeah. into the clap sections. Ooh. You can see how classic it is here, look. It is near, right near the thing. No, we actually should have watched the video first. Oh, all right. I mean, these look like they've been moved. Yeah, that's true, actually, yeah. I see what you're saying. I wonder if someone's had an idea of moving some of it to try and drain the water out. Possibly. You, you shouldn't be touching it, it's a historical site. No, I mean, you've got the water running down here, right down the side, most of the way, look. Yeah, and more concrete. Look, I'll tell you what. The sleepers have been in. In the ballast stuff. Yeah. And they've been moved. What the hell has been going on look. here, folks? Here. Yeah. Your glasses are steaming up. This is a historical site, folks. This was a test ball for the 1880. It, well, this was a test ball in 1880. And, uh, the people have been down here, it seems. Let's check back on the old footage. I've been here in 2008, 2007, actually, 2008, and 2014. And these sleepers that we're just looking at here look like they've been moved or pulled up. Now, you know, people shouldn't be doing this because this is history. They were embedded here in 1880. So why are people doing it? The train company doing it, are they, for some reason? This is the one. Yeah, these have been pulled up. Stand on this one, yeah. You can see where it, right, they were. That's what I wonder if it's trying to try and drain some water or something. Yeah, there's quite a lot back there though, isn't there? Yeah. It's a hill. I wonder what they did back in the day to get the water out. Maybe perhaps it was more, it was less collapse and probably more flowed. Yeah. A bit better maybe. Got oh, that chunk there, that's fresh, isn't it? That, Oh, yeah. Possibly. It looks it. This is a random manual as well. Yeah. Perhaps they hang lights in that one of them. Lamps. Or ventilation. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Oh, we got it, folks. Yes. Yeah. It's still clear. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Right, so we're just trying to get the best light of this graffiti here. So, um, yeah, it's all still there, isn't it? This tunnel was begun, basically. I think that's a bit of a spelling area, then. Yeah. Uh, they're coming close here. You keep the light there. William Sharp. And then you've got 1880. So they've begun this, this tunnel in 1880, folks. This is graffiti history, folks. We're documenting history right here. Sorry, I was just looking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
That's amazing. This will be the last time we see this, folks. The first serious attempt at boring under the channel was at Shakespeare Cliff in February 1881. This new drilling technology worked wonders, but in 1882, after getting a mile out to sea, the project was halted. This was due to political tensions between England and France at the time. Watkins' first trial attempt today lies entombed, slowly collapsing, and one day being erased from history altogether. <laughs>